Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Baller here. We are now on this uh, December 2nd, 2022 NBA game day. Um, unlike yesterday, we have a lot of games today. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there are like 11 games. So let's kick things off by talking about this game. Uh, this is going to be between Washington Wizards and the home team Charlotte Hornets. The game will actually start at 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. So that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread given is minus 3.5, and that's actually given towards the visiting team, Washington Wizards. Now, let's check on the standings and the rankings of both teams first. Both teams belong to the Eastern Conference. Let's start off with Washington Wizards. They are currently at number 9 with a record of 11 wins and 11 losses. Now for Charlotte Hornets, you know, they're trying to improve but they have been stuck um, in number 13 in the East with a record of 6 wins and 15 losses. Alright, so here we go. Charlotte Hornets, again, they would have the home court advantage on this. In terms of fatigue, well, we can just skip that part. Uh, both teams, um, well... Most of the teams were actually uh, idle last night, so they had their rest. Um, in terms of momentum, though, uh, both teams are also coming off their losses. So perhaps we can just skip that part and uh, go straight towards the availability of the players or the health of both teams. Starting with Washington Wizards, um, I can only see two players down here in the injury list. Both are out for this game. That's going to be Rui Hachimura and Dillon Wright. Um, for Charlotte Hornets, I see four names down here. Lamelo Ball, Gordon Hayward, Cody Martin, and Dennis Smith Jr. Um, all confirmed out for the Hornets. Alright, I'm not going to overthink this one. I mean, uh, the only advantage that I can really see um, on Charlotte Hornets is uh, the fact that they are actually at home. Um, looking at Washington Wizards, I know they are not that, what you call this, they are not that impressive if we would compare it to other other. Eastern teams, right? Like Atlanta Hawks, like Toronto Raptors, and so on. Boston Celtics. But if to be fair to Washington Wizards, I mean, they are having a decent record at 11-11. Um, they're fine with their uh, with their standing at number nine, right? Um, everyone wants to be, of course, at one to six. But so long as you're within number one to number ten, then you then you know, you're doing you know you're doing perfectly fine. Um, so they're actually doing, you know, doing well, not really doing great, but they're really, really not earning a lot of respect, you know, um, around the, around the league lately. But uh, I think they, they have been, uh, the more con they have been, uh, more consistent as compared to other, as, to, uh, as compared to other teams. Um, they have, uh, their big three for me, um, that will be Porzingis, uh, Beal, and I'm now considering, uh, um, call this Kushma. As part of their big three, man, those three can actually give you 60, 70, eight, sometimes even 80 points in a night. Um, and I know Washington Wizards' defense is one of the projects that they need to improve on or work on. Uh, but so long as the, their big three is healthy, so long as their big three are available and are actually not not necessarily on fire, but you know are being productive, you know they you know they have they have a very good shot at, at any game. I mean, at any game. Now, they're going up against Charlotte Hornets. Obviously, Washington Wizards is the much better team. Obviously, Washington Wizards have done better in, you know, in this season. Obviously, Washington Wizards is the healthier team. They only have two players out, while Charlotte Hornets, they have their best player out in ball. Um, they don't have uh, Gordon Hayward. They don't have uh, Dennis Smith, uh, one of you know one of their scorers as well. So I don't think Rozier, I don't think Plumley, I don't think Oubre can actually uh, shoulder everything and you know give them the win or even cover the spread of three point five. Three point five is uh, I, I guess a bit low um, for Washington Wizards to miss. All right. So our pick on this one would be Washington Wizards minus. 3.5. Watch out for the big three, you know, to have a, you know, to have an easy time scoring. Again, Wizards minus 3.5. Peace out, pass love, and God bless.